going to be a hair tutorial and I did these pin curls because I get requested so much to do hair tutorials but I just I just never did them I don't know why I just never did my hair is super super long so it's really hard to like do a look because it takes me like forever to do like this is all my hair but um this is the way I do my pink curls when I want this like old Hollywood glamour type of look so I hope you guys enjoy the video. There are a lot of variations on how to do this but I do it the way that I do it because I have super long hair and it works for me. Uh, it's not the neatest way to do it by any means but it's what works for me. The curling wand that I used is just this Revlon one. It's nothing special like I got it from Walmart I think seven or eight years ago. I've had it forever. I think it's an inch and this is the wand that I used. So the first thing I do is I always figure out where I want to part my hair and I think right here is pretty good. Then I spray my hair with this Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Leave-In Spray. I do all my hair at once just because it's a lot easier because I have a lot of hair that I have to deal with. This spray just protects your hair and actually leaves your hair with like a really nice shiny finish after the heat has left it so that's why I like to use this. I usually start from the top and work my way down. That's just how I do it because I do have such long hair that if I start from down here and I pin it in the wrong place that I won't have enough space on the top of my head. So I like to start here and work my way down. So I usually section off the front of my hair right here, just in front of my ears. And I clip back the rest of my hair. The trick to getting like old Hollywood like pink curls is curling in towards your face. That's gonna give you that nice wave once you brush it out. So I'm going to start right here and I take like about one inch sections um, that may look bigger than an inch but this is really teeny because I have thin hair. I pull my hair straight up and take my curling iron and wrap it down and around and I just like gauge it like I just judge how much hair I have and where I need to place the hair around the barrel. Then I hold this for about 10 seconds. Once I'm done this because I'm pulling really tight with my left hand here I kind of loosen this up and it's going to give you some leeway with the curl and I just take that out making sure I still have a hold of the curl and then I'm simply going to turn the curl on its side it doesn't matter really what side you turn it on like I could put it this way or the other way but I lay it flat on my head take a bobby pin and then I take the pin and secure the curl down to my head kind of weaving the pin through the curl and then you're left with something that looks like that. Now moving on to the other side, this side I do a little bit different just because I want a lot of volume there. So what I do is I take a really rectangular sort of piece, I have a random hair here, and you can see how big that is. Not very big, but a fair amount of hair. And what I do is I lift it up and I take my curler, I'm also gonna curl in, but the way I pin it down is a little bit different. So I'm gonna wrap this around just like I would Tighten it pretty much to the scalp. Leave it on there for 10 seconds. Grab a hold of it, slip it out. And while I have a hold of the side of the curl, I'm not going to lay it down, but instead I'm going to pin it so it's kind of like a loop in my hair here. Pin the bottom loop to my scalp. And then you're left with like a funny, like Betty Page kind of a banger. I just continue up my head here doing the exact same thing with these curls. So once I have four little messy um, little barrels on top of my head here, then I continue doing this same pin curl like to my head on the rest of my entire head.
So I have all of my pin curls in and it's pretty messy but this is just what I do because it doesn't matter what it looks like now, it's the end result that matters. So right now while it's still warm in some places, like this is the last part I did so it's still a little warm, I'm going to spray it with some of this Pantene Pro V hairspray, it's the anti-humidity one. So I'm just going to give my hair a light spritz of this in for about 20 minutes and then come back and take them out. I'm just going to remove the pins, no rhyme or reason to this, just taking each one of them out. Maybe start with the back. So now that I look like a little doll, um, I'm gonna leave the four up here that are like rolled, like little sausages up there, cause I'm gonna spray this and comb this out first. Oh, I forgot one here. <laughs> Let's make sure I didn't forget any others. I'm just gonna take my trusty Pantene hairspray, give this a good coat here, scrunch it up. I look like a little doll, it's so cute. Now I'm just going to take my brush and just lightly comb through these and they should come together in a nice wavy kind of pattern. As you can see, once you brush through the curls, they mostly just like take their shape like you want it to. And I'm gonna start taking out these top ones. Finished. Just kidding. So then once it's all combed out, I'm just gonna back comb a little bit more. I'm gonna tease up here and then I'm going to tease my entire bang section in its own little piece. So as I'm combing this out and like just smoothing this down, I'm sort of taking my comb and like guiding the curls. So when this curls in, I sort of guide that just so it forms the nice little shape that I want. And when I'm happy with that, I'm just gonna give it a whole bunch of hairspray just so it holds. Make sure I get the ends in there. I like to scrunch my hair up because it makes the curl go into itself and then it nicely fall on top of here. And then I just like work with my hair and manipulate it sort of in the way that I want it to go. So over there. And once I'm happy with it, I'm just gonna spray it and lift it up. Especially the bang piece there. So once I have fiddled around with all of these curls and sort of made them uniform with one another, all I do is just kind of, like I have a curl right here, so I just pull this back just to clean it up and then I spray it. And then I follow this one too and then I spray it just so it cleans up any of those 
loose hairs, you know what I mean? And like right here, there's a whole bunch of crazy hairs there, so I just pull it back and spray it and smooth it down. And that's pretty much what I do. And then for my part, I don't want any flyaways, so I just spray that. And then you could do this with a toothbrush too, but this comb really works nicely for that. And then that's pretty much it. So yeah, I think I'm pretty much finished. You can manipulate the curls to make it look like whatever you want pretty much. Like you can really like hairspray it and like tease it and they could be like tighter or looser. Or you can, like I could still comb it through and make them a little bit looser, but this is how I like it. Like you can take this and really make that big and come out there, but I'm going for a more casual look today. So yeah, I think I'm pretty much done. I hope you guys enjoyed this hair tutorial. I don't really do hair tutorials just because my hair is so long and it like takes forever for me to do, but I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys later. Bye.